Welcome to Carolina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, just, I just maybe we start with the thought of getting in the lineup here and getting a chance to, to gain, gain some traction here in the NHL. Yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, it took some time, so obviously I'm excited about it, about the chance, and hopefully I can do good, and hopefully the team can uh, get a win. What was it? Kind of, uh, we talked to maybe at the the middle of camp there about the cap situation, and basically you were a cap casualty. What was that kind of like to have to experience that and and go down and, and make a, make good on a lousy kind of situation, I guess. Yeah, I mean, didn't like the situation. Obviously, I was not happy with it, but I don't think anyone would. And we all want to play in the NHL, so uh, took probably a week to kind of re. Uh, refocus and I was actually stuck in Edmonton for about two and a half three weeks to, to get a visa to go so that was probably good I, I got to wrap my head around it and then once I got down there I felt like I really had to uh, play hard and do well because I think what I saw when I came down there is, is kind of a ripple effect too like when I get sent down there another guy gets sent down to the east coast so I didn't want to go down there and just take up a spot so uh, it was fun uh, great group of guys down there and the coaching staff uh, was good and, and everyone welcomed me so I had a good time and, and hopefully I can uh, take that with me in here because you, when you're playing down there you get a few more uh, touches with the puck, you get a few more minutes so hopefully I can carry that over to, to the player. Aside from having a good attitude as you were saying, like what, what did you want to work on in your game to, uh, to be ready at when the time came for you to come up? Yeah, I just think in general it was an opportunity to play more. Uh, I think at some point in our careers every NHL player almost have been uh, a skill guy and, and a top guy on their team and then you kind of take different paths. Some, some guys obviously make it to the top and then some guys have to kind of restructure the game to, to stick in the league and I think that's been my case. Uh, so I saw that as an opportunity to kind of play a little top minutes, play more on the power play and, and kind of regain that confidence back and hopefully I can uh, carry that over uh, partly here. I was going to ask because the Oilers just lost a, a very good offensive player in Evander Kane that allowed you to come up. Do you think you can bring a little bit of offense or you're more concerned about kind of the bottom six type mentality of, of keeping the puck out of the net per se? I mean, you always want to score and I think, uh, but like you can't come up here and think you're going to be a skilled guy and do whatever you can do in the AHL. Uh, you got to work hard and, and do the right things, but just in general, the the mindset of uh, when you have the puck and when you get a chance to to have that confidence, I think that's the most important thing. But obviously, you gotta play the right way, uh, do the right things, and help the team win. That's that's how you're gonna stick around. Uh, but I think I have an opportunity to kind of carry over, like I said, the confidence that I may have gained uh, playing in the AHL.